Good day to you. My name is Chelsea and I am a breast cancer survivor. I created this channel um, to share my experiences to help current and fellow fighters as I found when I was going through breast cancer, um, there were a lot of unknowns and I really just wanted to hear from someone who had been through it themselves. So today I'm going to be sharing my experience going in for a bone scan. I did have one when I was first diagnosed five years ago, um, but now it's time to go in for another one. I was told that I needed to come in at 12 o'clock today to get an infusion um, and then come back later for my scan at 2.30, but let's just see what happens next. I am all done the first appointment. That was actually really quick and painless, thankfully. Um, I just went in and uh, was explained, and please don't quote me on this, I am just saying what I remember, but um, that she was going to inject me with a radioactive fluid that is going to go into my bones, and then that is how that they're going to get the images later. Um, but it does take time for the, the bones to take up that radioactive fluid. Uh, so that's why I need to come to the appointment later. But it was an injection, so I was thinking that I was going to need to get an IV and it, the fluid was going to be pushed in and then I would need to keep the IV for later, like I have for an MRI. But I don't. It was just injection, so she put a little gauze on there, took the needle out, and I am free to, uh, to roam about. I also want to mention that uh, I did not feel a single thing when she was putting in the fluid and um, I was told that I can eat and drink anything I want, go to the washroom as much as I want, and basically just live for the next two and a half hours until uh, I have to be back. Just checking into my formal appointment. Um, I don't feel anything from the radioactive dye. Um, just feel normal and yeah, ready for the second part. So, checking into nuclear medicine. Well, I am all done. I am going to head home now and I will finish the rest of this video once I get home with a very detailed description of what it was like inside of the machine. I am back home now. i um, excited to tell you about this scan. So the first thing that I found really interesting was it felt really, really casual compared to other tests or scans that I've had. And what I mean by that is I didn't have to worry about what lotions I put on my body before this scan. I wasn't told to remove any jewelry like earrings, and I didn't need to change into a hospital gown. I just walked in, walked into this kind of open room. It wasn't even a closed off room where the machine was in my street clothes. And she asked, are you ready? And I said, yeah. She said, you have to go to the washroom? No. And uh, she just asked me to take this hoodie off. And then I walked over to the machine and she just said, okay, lay down on the bed. So I walked over, I saw the machine at the end. It had a big circle in the middle and around the circle were two plates so like the x-ray plates one on the top one on the bottom and then there was a long bed um, that was going in between the two plates and through the circle she asked if i wanted a blanket if i was chilly i said i am a little bit chilly that would be great <laughs> she gave me a heated blanket my head was on a pillow and um, i had the option of taking my shoes on or off it was personal preference i took them off and then that was it. We were good to go. Oh, the one interesting thing that she did do was um, I was asked to put my feet together and she put some sort of tape around my feet. She said when people relax, their feet tend to go like this and that's not what they want. So um, she put the tape around my feet and then like one second later, my feet. My feet relaxed and uh, broke the tape apart. Um, so I was like, oh, sorry, I broke the tape already. So she redid it again. And I made a conscious effort to keep my legs together. 
So once I was all set on the machine, uh, the machine lifted up and started going towards the circle and the plates. And I actually started at my head first. So this is the plate up here. And as I was moving, the bed was moving towards this plate. She said, um, just so you know, the plate is going to come very close to your face, but don't worry. It's going to stop before your face. It's got some sensors in it. And so I was like, okay, I mean, I'm not typically worried about this sort of thing, but it was nice that she warned me. So I was just laying there and this big plate started moving towards my face. And so I was like, okay, okay, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, I did start to get a little bit anxious and going and going and going. And I swear it came like just off the tip of my nose. And at this point, I decided to close my eyes because it was so close to my face that my eyes were crossing. Um, so it did, it did stop, obviously. It didn't squish my head, but uh, I'm glad that she said that because I think I would have been a little bit worried. So I had a plate in the front that I could see and I'm assuming that the other plate was in the back that I couldn't see because it was um, getting both sides. And it started the head and it started, it was about two and a half, three minutes that it was in that position. I just closed my eyes and the machine was completely silent. It was such a nice change from the MRI, which is very loud and um, kind of obnoxious noises. It was just so silent in that room. I just laid there on the pillow and the blanket. And then after two and a half, three minutes, these plates started. It seemed like they were moving down, but I know what it was is the the bed was moving out of the machine. So it was starting to go to my neck, to my chest and uh, moving very, very slowly down my body and ending at my toes. And that took about, my guess is about 18 minutes to make it all the way down my body. Um, and it just, it adjusted its heights as it moved. Um, the entire thing was completely silent, as I said. And at the end, all of a sudden I heard this beautiful like chime. It's like doo -doo -doo -doo, and that signified that it was done. I thought that I was done, but I was not. So she said, okay, now we're going to do a scan of your rib cage, a 360 scan. And I was a little bit anxious at this point because I thought that something was seen and this was like an additional scan. So I asked him like, is this normal protocol? And she said, yes. She said it, um, for the rest of your body doing the top and the bottom works really well. Cause it's kind of, you know, two dimensional top and the bottom to your bone. Um, but because the rib cage is so intricate, um, and there's so much about it, they like doing the 360 view of it. So that was an additional 10 to 12 minutes. So in total, the scan was about, I thought, was about 25 to 30 minutes. So I went back into the machine up to my rib cage, and I thought this was really cool. I didn't realize that the, the plates kind of were able to turn around the circle base like this, but I had the top and the bottom, and then all of a sudden you could see that they started to slowly rotate and so they were getting a total 360 view with um, both of the the plates kind of moving around my body like this and then once again I heard the chime at the end and then I moved out of the machine and then I moved down oh one thing I do want to mention when I was doing the full body scan I was asked to put my hands by my sides and hold on to the railing and not move when I was doing the rib cage scan, she changed out my pillow and she put in something else and I was asked to have my hands up above my head and it was actually quite comfortable. So that is very important to note. Sorry, I almost missed that. Um, I couldn't feel anything within my body during the test. So the, the radioactive tracer that they gave me earlier, I couldn't feel a thing still, even during the test. So I came out, um, she told me I was done, you know, 
peeled off the blanket, sat up, put on my shoes, and that's it. That was the bone scan. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this helped to maybe alleviate any anxieties that you might have coming into this scan. I wish you all the best. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like more videos on breast cancer or life as a breast cancer survivor. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.